Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, in October last year of 2023, as I posted, Brave released version 1.59 of their web browser. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen of this video, and Brave started installing Brave VPN services without any warning and without any user consent, which has been met with a lot of debate and controversy. And in that video, I showed you how you could turn off to prevent the loss of performance on Windows and also if you were concerned about privacy. Now, if you are using Brave and this was affecting you, just to let you know that with the recent rollout of Brave version 1.64, which I posted on yesterday, and that video will also be in the end screen because that's the latest release. And that was also bumped up with Chrome 123. That the latest release of the browser does not install the VPN service anymore if you are using um, if you are not using the VPN on Windows. So basically, in short, if you have purchased a subscription or are starting a free trial, these services will be installed. But if you are like me and you are not using VPN, the Brave VPN, then those services now will no longer be installed, which I think is good news because there were a lot of unhappy users um, uh, who were using Brave and have actually moved on to other browsers that I know of in the comments. And it seems now that Brave finally has listened. And they note in the change log, and I'm quoting for version 1.64 that they fixed Brave VPN to not install VPN services until VPN is purchased or enabled. So that's the official listing in the change log for version 1.64. But go check that video out. It'll be in the end screen of this video. Now, if we head over quickly to our services management uh, in Windows 11. And if you want to know where this is, just do a search accordingly on the channel. Yeah, you'll see, if we have a look, the Brave VPN service and Brave VPN WireGuard service have been removed if you are not using the VPN. So if we just scroll down here, we can see Brave Elevation service and Brave Update service, Update service. But previously, we also had a Brave VPN service that was listed here as an entry and also Brave VPN WireGuard service. And as you can see, they have not been installed, as in my case, if you do not use the VPN. And as mentioned, these services will only get installed um, if you purchase the VPN from Brave Software or enable it on the device from now on, which I think is good move. So both those services have been removed, which... First of all, if you were concerned about privacy, now it removes that privacy loophole. And obviously, secondly, uh, it removes two services which could be started to run in the background, which actually to some extent or the other, especially on low budget machines, will um, so-called for want of a better word, speed up your device because it's now using less system resources uh, in the background. So I think that's good news. And something else to take note of is if we head in Windows to our settings and this will apply to Windows 10 and Windows 11 by the way and we head to our apps startup apps you will also see that the VPN WireGuard service if you're not using the VPN is also being removed from the startup apps list which was also placed in the startup apps entry list although you could turn it off it was still there but now if you're not using vpn after upgrading to brave 1.64 that entry has also been removed from the startup so i think that's going to make a lot of um, users happy um, who have been using brave and obviously were affected by this issue and as mentioned that started rolling out um, recently with brave version 1.64 those changes if you are not using VPN, those services will not be installed anymore going forward. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.